Thank you for tuning in to Everything Vows. Today's topic, we will be discussing the difference between a floating ball valve and a trunnion mounted ball valve. Please note, all information provided is for informational purposes only. What is a floating ball valve? A floating ball valve is a ball valve that is only held in place by a stem inserted into the top of the ball. As you can see from the drawing, the ball has a slot for the stem to be inserted, positioning the ball in between two stationary seats. When pressure is applied, it will cause the ball to push against the opposite side creating the bubble tight seal. What is a trunnion mounted ball valve? A trunnion mounted ball valve is a ball valve that has additional support at the top and bottom of the ball. The additional support makes this design more suitable for larger sizes and higher pressures. From the drawing, you can see the ball has a slot for the stem, similar to the floating ball valve. But if you look at the bottom, there is also a slot for the trunnion. This design keeps the ball stationary and allows the spring-loaded seats to push against the ball, creating the bubble-tight seal. There are many differences between the two styles of ball valves. We will look at five key differences. Visual. If you look at the pictures below, you will see a floating ball valve on the left and a trunnion on the right. The main visual difference is the trunnion located at the bottom. Seat designs. A floating ball valve seat will generally consist of only a PTF or other polymer material ring which is inserted into the body of the valve. These seats are stationary. A trunnion ball valve has spring-loaded seats which keep pressure on the ball at all times. The seats will have a metal ring with a polymer insert as well as springs and o-rings. Ceiling design. The floating ball valve has a floating ball. It needs pressure in order for it to push the ball against seat to create the seal. A trunnion valve does not need pressure to create the seal. It will always be in contact from the spring-loaded design. Emergency sealing, grease fittings, and bleeders. On a floating ball valve, you will only have a stem grease fitting. This is used to stop any leakage past the stem. On a trunnion ball valve, there will be two grease injectors for each seat, one stem grease injector, two bleeders. Floating ball valves are usually limited in size and pressure. This is due to the fact that they require more torque to operate because of the floating ball design. A trunnion ball valve will require less torque because of the stem and trunnion feature reducing friction. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe and comment down below. For more information on floating and trunnion mounted ball valves, please visit the website below.